Um, some nights I use this, um, Alpha Hydrox Enhanced Lotion 10% Glycolic AHA. Um, so this is recommended by Skin Care for Men website and um, it's got a 10% um, glycolic AHA. So yes, and you have to use sunscreen protection with this. And so when I first put this on, it stings my skin a little bit because it's in a chemical exfoliant. Um, so um, Paula from Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me um, also recommends this product. And then for pimples, um, if I'm getting pimples, um, which this is my problem area my chin, then I use Benzac, um, which is Benox, Benoxyl Peroxide 2.5%. Um, so I kind of wash my face, let my skin dry for a while, and then um, I put a kind of quite a, quite a bit of this on top. And um, it, when I was having the um, rash issue with the Retin-A, um, after I settled that down, then I um, used this and it kept my skin clear. So that's good. And then I also have started to get um, a few kind of little brown spots in the back of my hands and stuff, which is a big bummer. <laughs> and um, so I have this um, John Plunkett Super Fade, which... Um, Assists fading age spots, freckles, and brown skin blemishes. And the active ingredients in this is hydroquinone, um, salic acid, salicylic, and padamate. So um, I think I've noticed a difference um, using this on those spots on my hands. So, and when I was pregnant and breastfeeding and stuff, instead of using the Retrieve or the Retin A, I stopped using that and I was using this um, rock um, multi-correction night cream, which contains, it's a retinol cream. So um, there's a lot of confusion about the difference between um, retinols and um, Retin-A and Retrieve and stuff like that, because the names are very similar. But um, retinols, I was using this when I was pregnant and stuff, um, but I didn't really think it was gonna do that much. Um, it's Retinols are a naturally occurring form of vitamin A and when you put it on your skin, about 5% of that retinol will turn into um, trenitin, tretinoin. Um, so there is a slight relationship, but this is basically, this is 0.5% tretinoin. This is, um, I don't even know what percentage the um, active ingredient is, but you know, you put that on and then 5% of it may turn into tretinoin. So if you're really serious about clearing up um, your, um, you know, about using uh, a chemical exfoliant to kind of keep your skin looking youthful and la la la, then um, you're much better off going and getting this. Like um, in a lot of places it is a um, prescription only medication. So you have to go to the, your doctor to get it. Um, and you can buy this sort of stuff if you want. There's lots of stuff with retinol in there and that you can buy for a lot more money than the Retin-A or the ret, um, Retrieve costs. But I personally think they're a waste of time. And um, a lot of cosmetics companies kind of like to exploit the confusion between um, Retin-A and um, retinols. So um, just be mindful of that. And um, the other skincare, the other anti-aging skincare um, precautions I take is I wear, I try and wear sunglasses and a hat when I'm in that, in the sun. And um, I also um, try to avoid, um, you know, I try and wear long sleeves, I try and put sunblock on my chest, I, um, and on my, art, you know, exposed areas. I try not to go to the beach in the middle of the day, um, you know, stuff like that. So, um, now my hair is all messy. So um, I'm just trying to think, yeah, if I have anything else to say. Just I just think, um, I don't know, I've seen other people do videos on like anti-aging skincare and or, you know, like products that are meant to be anti-aging and they're all like, oh, it's got this and natural blah -de blah and whatever. I kind of tend to think that just because it's natural doesn't mean that it's better and... Um, I also kind of, I've, I remember I saw one, someone, 
um, doing a video about this um, dermatologist range of skincare and she was just kind of talking about that this feels really nice on my skin and blah 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 and I was just going like what's the active ingredient what's it meant to do what it's the testing you know like behind this product like blah 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 like she didn't kind of cover any of that so I just think for me I want to go to the experts to find out what they suggest um, there's lots of there's plenty of information out there um, another person who I watch his videos Derm TV Dr. Neil Schultz from Derm TV and he's got a website dermtv.com so um, he is really um, he's a I don't know if he's a dermatologist but he's a doctor and um, he he has a practice um, where he um, does lots of I think he does lots of anti-aging skincare um, skin procedures like I think he probably does Botox and all that sort of stuff so he's very knowledgeable about that sort of thing and he was the first he explained the difference between retinols and retin-a so that is just really an example to me of the um, the kind of the way that the skincare and the cosmetics industry really purposely confuses people and misleads people so um, another way to get informed is the this book um, there's a quite a lot of information about um, the claims that cosmetics companies make and what they actually mean um, and they don't actually mean anything um, so you know hypoallergenic um, non comogenic comogenic all of you know dermatologist tested they don't or cosmeceutical like these sorts of things don't actually mean anything they just make you feel better so um, and I admit I bought stuff just to make myself feel better. Like this, I bought this because I couldn't use Retin-A when I was pregnant and breastfeeding. And um, it kind of made me feel better, but I also was conscious of the fact that it didn't really do anything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you, I'll put the web, the links of all the websites that I've mentioned um, in the bottom bar. And um, let me know if you have any questions or... I d definitely recommend checking out those um, websites. Okay, I uh, hope you're having a good day. Bye.